Physicist Brian Cox is widely known for his ability to explain complex concepts of the universe in a way that captivates scientists and the general public. One of the most intriguing subjects he frequently explores is the nature of time, specifically, whether the past truly exists or if it's simply a product of human consciousness. In this video, we examine Cox's perspectives on time and explore the fascinating question of whether the past actually exists or if it's just a fleeting illusion and a relic of the present. To understand Brian Cox's views on the past, it's important to first look at how time is understood in physics. Time is often referred to as the fourth dimension, alongside the three spatial dimensions, length, width, and height, that describes the physical world in which we exist. In this four-dimensional model, known as space-time, time is not a linear flow, but rather a dimension in which all moments are laid out simultaneously. This concept was born from Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, which revolutionized our understanding of time. According to relativity, time is not an absolute constant entity. Instead, it's intertwined with space and the passage of time can vary depending on factors like speed and gravity. Astronauts traveling at high speeds in space experience time more slowly than people on Earth, a phenomenon known as time dilation. In this framework, time does not flow in the traditional sense. Instead, the past, present and future are all equally real, suggesting that the past may still exist, just as the present moment does. But what does this mean for our experience of the past? And how does Brian Cox interpret these ideas? When he discusses time's mysteries, he leans towards a view that aligns closely with Einstein's relativistic interpretation of time. According to Cox, our everyday perception of time, where the past is behind us, the present is now, and the future is ahead, is a useful mental construct, but not an accurate representation of reality at the deepest levels. In a 2017 interview with The Guardian, Cox said, Time doesn't flow in the way we experience it. The past and the future are as real as the present, and the whole of space and time exists as a four-dimensional structure. For Cox, this view suggests that the past still exists within the fabric of space-time, even if we no longer perceive it. In this sense, the past is not something that has gone away, but rather, it is a different part of the universe, just as distant regions of space exist, even if we are not there to observe them. In Cox's interpretation, the past does exist, albeit in a way that differs from our everyday experience. He argues that our perception of time is tied to the way our brains process information, creating the sensation of a forward-moving arrow of time. Cox's ideas align closely with the block universe theory, a concept within theoretical physics. According to this theory, all points in time, past, present and future exist equally in a static block of space-time. In this view, the past isn't lost. It remains part of the overall structure of the universe, just as a book contains every chapter simultaneously, even though we read one page at a time. Supporters of the block universe theory argue that time is much like space, just as different locations exist independently of whether someone is there or not. Different moments in time exist independently of whether someone is currently experiencing them. From this perspective, the past remains just as real as the present, waiting in its position on the timeline. Cox has often pointed out that this interpretation may feel counterintuitive because we are so accustomed to thinking of time as something that flows. Time passing is an illusion, Cox notes in his discussions about the block universe. The way we experience time is not how time actually works. While Cox subscribes to the block universe view, he also acknowledges that there is something peculiar about how we experience time. Our reality feels like a continuous flow from past to future, with the past receding from view. One explanation for this lies in the concept of entropy, a key principle of the second law of thermodynamics. Entropy refers to the tendency of systems to move from order to disorder. In this context, it helps explain the arrow of time, the one-way direction in which time seems to flow from our perspective. Cox often uses entropy to illustrate why the past feels different from the present and why we remember the past but not the future. 
In a universe where entropy increases over time, the past represents a more ordered state, while the future represents a state of increasing disorder. This creates the illusion that time moves forward. Cox has explained this concept in various public lectures, pointing out that our brains are also systems that experience the effects of entropy. As our memories are recorded, they contribute to the sense that the past is behind us and the future ahead, even though both exist within space-time. So, does the past exist, according to Brian Cox? The answer is yes, but not in the way we typically think of it. For Cox, the past remains a part of the universe's space-time fabric. The difference between the past, present and future is a matter of perception, tied to the specific ways in which humans experience time and entropy. From a physicist's perspective, all moments in time are equally real, and just because we can no longer access the past doesn't mean it ceases to exist. Cox's views suggest that if we could somehow transcend our limited human perception of time, we might see the entire timeline of the universe laid out in front of us, past, present and future, all coexisting. This view challenges the common notion that the past is gone forever. In reality, it's still there, just as present as the moment we're experiencing right now. Cox's interpretation emphasizes that the division between past and present is more of a psychological construct than a physical reality. Cox's stance on the existence of the past has profound implications for how we think about memory, history and the future. If the past still exists, does that mean we could, in theory, revisit it? What does this say about free will and determinism? This no, actually, we yeah. I think we agree on this. It's yes, a, we do. no, you can't travel into the past. I'm certain of that. Well, first of all, it's certainly true to say that in, in Einstein's theory, where you've got four dimensional space, then, then you're prevented from traveling back in time. Actually, by the speed of light, it fits into the geometry in that way. I, I think most theoretical physicists would say, we think, we'll conjecture, as Stephen Hawking does, that the physics protects the past. Can, can I? Is time travel to the past possible? is straightforward for Brian Cox when answering it in terms of how humans and our brains process time. Brian Cox tells us that time must work in ways that allow for the universe to make sense and to function rationally and within the laws that govern the universe. A universe filled with thousands or even millions of humans going back in time would create a virtual unlimited number of paradoxes stacked upon one another, creating a universe without balance, without any certainty or order. We don't think twice about getting out of bed, putting our feet down and leaving the room because the idea of certainty removes all question as to whether the floor will be there or not when we put our feet down. If there was a day where you got out of bed and the floor was no longer there, that lack of certainty would create a world where no one could perform the simplest of tasks or even get out of bed. Cox's approach encourages us to think about time as something less fluid and more structured, existing beyond our perception. In philosophical terms, if the past continues to exist, it raises questions about whether our experiences of change and growth are illusions. Could everything in the universe be predetermined, with every moment locked into the space-time continuum? These are the kinds of questions that Cox's view invites, pushing both physicists and philosophers to rethink their understanding of existence. Brian Cox's exploration of time and the existence of the past offers a fresh perspective on one of the oldest questions in human thought. While we experience time as a linear progression from past to future, physics tells a different story, one in which the past, present and future all coexist in a vast block of space-time. For Cox, the past still exists, but our perception of it is shaped by entropy and the way our minds process information. His views encourage us to look beyond our intuitive experiences and embrace the deeper, more complex reality and the mechanics of time that govern the universe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.